Welcome back to episode 2. Today we're going to be going over solar panels, getting power during the daytime, and then at nighttime using our battery backup. So batteries in Rust are used not to power uh, full-time power circuits because they will drain even if you're charging them straight from the solar panel to the battery it still will drain so then we have to use a circuit like we have set up here uh, we're going to basically be using uh, a root combiner some sort of switch whether it's a switch or another branch you could use either one and I'll explain what a branch is here in a second we're going to obviously need one branch one blocker uh, or switch that's OR or switch uh, some sort of battery whether it's a small battery or you could use a large battery uh, today for size here we're going to use the small battery because it's easy to show uh, but generally in my builds I typically try to use large batteries just because of the output a small battery will give you 15 minutes of charge time uh, and a maximum output of 10 units of power whereas a large battery will give you four hours of charge time and a maximum output of 100 units of power so huge difference uh, so this you definitely would use for any kind of security for the base or something of that sort okay well let's show you what we have here so I have the time stopped right at noon uh, so I'm getting sun from the east and I'm getting sun from the west and that's the two locations that you would place your solar panels if you only have one panel um, I, it's generally I would put it towards the east but if you could research one of those and that we can place too you're gonna to be way better off that way you're getting your morning Sun and your afternoon Sun okay so we, here we have two panels we have a simple wire coming out uh, each panel is going to have one connector on it so we're going to run that wire all the way to a root combiner a root combiner is red when you find them and they have root power one and root power two this would connect to a solar panel or a wind turbine but they cannot connect to any other components no component can feed power into a root combiner except for the actual raw power from uh, something that's generating power okay so a wire is going to go one to each panel then the output of those combined you see I'm getting 40 that's going to get fed into a splitter a splitter has three outputs one two three we're only going to be connecting two that way it's taking that power and dividing it in half uh, to each pan to each one of these uh, outputs now I'm going to clear all these out so you can actually watch me hook them up I think it's just going to be a little bit easier than just seeing a bunch of lines laying around and I can explain what each wire is actually doing clear that and lastly clear here okay uh, the output of the or switch that's currently I have just a switch and a light uh, it could be anything it could be a door controller but this is the smallest thing I can think of to power so that you can see some sort of use of a battery in a solar panel so imagine this being a light inside your base with the on and off switch uh, you don't have to have that this is just part of the video okay let's jump into it so like I said we have both powers from the solar panel in the root combiner and the output is being fed to the splitter because we need two we need power to go to two places first we need it to go to the OR switch and what an OR switch does is if power comes in to input A or input B then power will output on the main output so basically during the daytime the solar panels are going to be feeding our light so that's why we need one leg to go there and then the other leg so now actually our switch will work because we're receiving power from the solar panel so that's what the first leg the second leg we're going to be charging our battery while there is power coming from the solar panel so to do that we're going to take power out two, and we're going to run it to this branch right here uh, branch has three connections there's a power in there's a power out which would be a full power and then we can branch out we can configure with the letter E 
uh, you can configure how much power you want to branch off of that amount coming in and for us we're going to take the lowest amount which is two uh, I wish we could do one but we can't and we're going to leave that set to two now our main power out needs to send all that remaining power other than that two units that I want to use I want all the remaining power to go down and charge this battery during the daytime so let's just click here on the power out bring that down to to wherever your battery is and that's going to go to the power in and now we are actually charging that battery as you can see on the timer there charge left is 11 minutes and 28 seconds okay so now we have power going to the light we have power charging the the battery but now what happens at nighttime whenever there's no solar um, power or if it's a windmill and there's no wind blowing um, we need to send power out of the battery now so as that battery gets charged during the daytime we're going to use it at nighttime so to do that send your power out up to this blue blocker and blue blocker also has power in and there's a power out but since I have my line it won't show me the out but here we go we're going to send that to the power in now the way a blocker works it will output that power which we have 10 units because a small battery outputs 10 units so we have 10 units going in it's going to use one so we have nine available to use and we're going to send that to our OR switch also so that during nighttime we have power now the last thing we need to do because now we have something connected to the battery as you can see the time is going to actually start going down 11 minutes 54 seconds because even though we're charging this battery we're also using the battery and you can tell that here by our, our B input which is our blocker coming from the battery we have a green light power is coming from the battery right now and we need to stop that so to do that this blocker has a, a block pass-through lead as long as power is going into that lead then it will not allow the power to continue through the blocker so that's where that two was configured on our branch we set it to two so we're sending two units of power to this block pass-through and that now has killed the power coming in to we're coming out of the blocker and you see our red light has turned off now our battery is going to be fully charging instead of using the battery during the daytime so because there's two units of power that's coming from the solar panel so as soon as the solar goes away or sun goes down and it's nighttime and there's no power coming from there then there will not be two units coming off of this branch which will open up the block so that power can come from the battery and feed our system so this is kind of a confusing episode but this is a very important one I think you're going to use it on pretty much every electrical build you do unless there's something you only want to use during the daytime and then you would just connect that directly to a solar panel so thank you for liking and subscribing uh, we have many more videos coming up that are going to basically give a full breakdown of how everything works but hopefully this works for you um, for charging your batteries and giving you something kind of peace of mind knowing that you're going to have power at nighttime when there is no sun out there so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video